Hello! Hey, it's Dr. Kent here, and today um, I'm talking about a pretty important subject. It's concussions. And right now it's pretty hot out there in, in the United States. Will Smith's in a big major motion picture about the NFL. Uh, what's, what really gets me when I do my research on concussions is the NFL gets a few hundred concussions, maybe, a season, but there's 3.5 million reported concussions every year. So shows me that 99.99% of them are me and you. So you're not an elite, elite athlete, it's just us either doing something crazy, riding motorcycles, or our children playing lacrosse, soccer, our girls playing basketball, field hockey. Everybody in these in these risky sports are risking their child's having a, a head injury. So concussions come from an impact, right? And what we do before and what we do just after can really help the long-term effects of the brain and the health of the brain after an impact. So that way, 30 years from now, after you have a couple concussions, you can still remember your name and your kid's name and everything. So I got a brain here, and I kind of want to talk to you a little bit about the pathophysiology of concussion. That way, when I tell you why we have to do it, you're like, okay, I get it, I get it. So this brain is in our skulls, and it, uh, it's kind of wrapped in a protective sac, the meninges, so, or the blood-brain barrier, okay? So there is this little bitty film sac, and it's suspending in a little fluid. Now, when we get into a car accident or a football hit, our skull stops, but our brain, because it's floating in a liquid, keeps going. And most of the time, it hits this fluid and just kind of bounces back and forth, and it just floats there. Now, concussions happen when this brain hits too hard and boom, hits the inside of the skull, or boom, and hits the back of the skull. Let's say you fall back, hit your hip, and go down. So. That's when, just like any part of your body, you're going to get inflammation. Now that little protective sac that does its good in protecting the brain is also the detrimental effect because when swelling happens, we can't get enough inflammatory, anti-inflammatory rather, into the brain because it's blocked by that blood-brain barrier. It's there to protect the brain and keep stuff out. So now we have a substance called glutathione that naturally occurs in the brain. The precursor is this uh, N-acetylcysteine. Well, the brain, because of that protective layer, can't make enough to get rid of the inflammation. So what happens? Depending on where you hit is the symptoms you get. But most people have blurred vision, have headaches or migraines, dizziness, slurred speech. My dad fell down, had two in a month, and he had uh, slurred speech so bad they thought he was having a stroke. So they did $200,000 worth of tests on this guy because he's 74, and it wasn't. It was concussion. It was a side effect of the concussion. I got him cleared up in four days. He was back at work. But the thing is, if we don't get the inflammation out of there, then you can have these long, drawn-out side effects of the concussions and migraines for months or even years, depending on the severity of the injury. So now that we kind of know how everything works, let me tell you something. N-acetylcysteine is a great amino acid. It cruises through the blood-brain barrier freely. Once it gets in there, it makes glutathione, which gets rid of the inflammation, and we get it out of there. For 20, 30 years, we could only get glutathione through IVs. Now, this is not widely available. And it's also pretty darn expensive. We're talking about $300 an IV, and you need multiple IVs all the time, right? You can see how it could add up a lot. Well, what some of these medical-grade food companies, like Zymogen's fantastic, they come out with N-acetylcysteine, pure, medical-grade, $33 for a four-month supply. And you could give this to our loved ones that are playing contact sports or just anything that they could potentially have a head injury and that'll keep in acetylcysteine stores high so when you have this impact you have extra to create more glutathione and less likely to have a detrimental long-term effect sometimes it's a bad injury so even with extra in acetylcysteine on a daily basis which when my kids start doing it chasing all they're gonna be on it every day but if you have this heart injury we can get some S acetylglutathione 
Just recently, in the last few years, these companies have figured out a way to get it lipophilic. What I mean by that is it can slide through the blood-brain barrier. It's not as effective as an IV, but it's $45 a bottle. That will last you a month. So we can get good levels of S-acetylglutathione and Designs for Health even makes one that has n acetylcysteine in it as well. So it's like really double whammy in and out. So my recommendations are post head injury, even if you had a head injury two years ago and you're still having side effects, I can get that inflammation out of there. I haven't had one person ever tell me it didn't work, okay? So what we're gonna do is prevent with n acetylcysteine, if you've got a four year old that's playing soccer already or a 95 year old grandfather that's starting to ride his bike, it's really important. N-acetylcysteine every day. If they're too young to swallow, sprinkle it in some. It's important. If you have a head injury, let's get on that glutathione by Designs for Health. Well, Zymogen makes a good one too, but I like the Designs for Health one right now because it has the N-acetylcysteine in there too. So, quick thing about head injuries, it's more prevalent in our children and ourselves than these superstar athletes, but because of them getting a lot of attention, I think everybody should really think about their kids' safety, and this is a no-brainer to get them on, especially for $8 a month. All right, guys, call me anytime. Check out my uh, website, Bell Valley Pharmacy, and uh, if you have any questions, I'm always here for you. Thanks, guys.